Alright, so you want to set yourself up on a nice high place, preferably a ridge, uh, because you'll be able to have the best uh, view of the surrounding area and you'll have the best chance of bringing in the birds uh, at a place like this. Okay, so this is our trapping setup here. Uh, this is the bow net, which is uh, what we're going to pull the trigger on to uh, catch the hawk. There's the pigeon in the harness, he's attached to a string, uh, and that pole there, uh, the string is running up to it and down here. Um, all this will eventually be covered by a blind where I'm standing, and that's where we'll be hiding and uh, manipulating the strings to try and bring the birds in. The next step is to set up your blind so that you can hide from the hawk safely. This is the view from inside the blind. As you can see, we're pulling the string to send the pigeon up in the air to uh, track the hawks in the area. He's up over there. You stick your finger out there one more time and I'm going to cut it off. You don't understand. You're flashing. I don't want a bird coming into my face. It comes at my face, I go for yours. Which? Who's going to win this battle? Trust me, it's the 54-year-old... Okay. Killed our pigeon. Okay, so now it's time for us to take the bird out of the trap very carefully so that it doesn't get hurt and so we don't get hurt. Uh, this thing that Brian's doing there is uh, to scare the bird and so he'll flare out his wings and reach up so that he's easier to handle. Um, makes the process a little bit easier. Uh, and if you look at the bird here, his mouth is wide open because that's a sign of high stress. Alright, so as you can see, we've uh, put some painter's tape around the bird's wings and around his talons so that uh, he's no longer a danger to anyone, including himself, and he can't fly away. And now we're taking a stocking, which we've uh, cut a tiny hole in the tip of, and slipping it over his body so he's even more secure and uh, unable to bait or anything, uh, so that he can't injure himself or get injured on the way home or, you know, uh, of course, an escape. Um, it does look pretty ridiculous, though. <laughs> Memories. Throw them up high. <laughs> Give him a good throw. So he... Not only did you take, take it from the wild, you returned it to the wild. Remember that. That's a big deal. Okay, so now we're putting the jesses on the bird. Um, that tool my sponsor is holding there is a uh, grommet tool. And we've put a leather strap around the ankle of the, of the bird uh, just above where its foot starts. And we're using a grommet to, uh, to clamp it together and the anklet part of the jess will slip through there. Okay, you can let it go. You sure? Yeah. <laughs> See, now a lot of guys try it when she does that. Now she's, now she's, she's definitely putting out. So, what you want to do, a lot of guys do this, don't do that. Just take your bird gently and put a bit, stand her back up again. She's not going to want to stand through just yet. Okay, girl. She gets a little tangled up, just like just slowly untangle her like this. Uh -huh. And then you, you, know, you can just. 
you can play with her a little bit upside down for a second. Then just slowly, we'll shorten up the leash. Right? You don't want to get it tangled up either. Just gently put it back on. She's she exhausted. Yeah. There you go. Come on, What? Well, okay. Oh, let me just have, let me have the flashlight, Peter. <laughs> Thank you. 